What do I think could happen from here? Well, I think a bit of another. And where do we get these, these Fibonacci retracement? What is a bullish retracement? What is a bearish retracement? Do we have the reversal formation in place yet? No, because we did not close above the middle wick here. We're going to take a look at what altcoins are pumping the most. And uh, apparently Richard Hart is uh, back in the game here because his Pulse X. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from a bright and beautiful Westlake Village, California. It is 7.40 a.m. Got up at 3 a.m. Couldn't couldn't help myself. The market was pumping. Now it's oh, it was dumping. And then we're going to go over the charts. We're going to get in here into some Bitcoin price action. We're going to take a look at some altcoins that are most likely to pump here. And uh, have a little bit of fun. So if you are up for the up for the video, make sure you like, like and subscribe. Herp your derp and have yourself a blessed day. And highly favored day. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, bouncing off the not 0.5 as we rejected off the 618. Very, very typical. And in fact, that is what I'm suspecting a bit of a bounce here um, for Bitcoin. Why? Everybody's bearish now. Everybody's bearish on Bitcoin. So, it must be going down, right? Nope. When everybody was bullish, right? That's where the bull traps come in at the 618. Uh, well, on a bullish retracement, vice versa. And we talked about this on the daily uh, time frame here, the daily, the nice daily uh, time frame. That once these uh, the nine and the twenty one cross to the downside, the likely uh, gonna have uh, a bit of a downside move, right? So uh, that is beginning to happen as we speak. The cross is in place uh, just barely, but um, what do I think could happen from here? Well, I think a bit of another. And where do we get these these Fibonacci retracement? What is a bullish retracement? What is a bearish retracement? Well, let's talk about it really quick. On a wick basis, I mean, it can't even get closer than that. Can't even get closer than that. I, I, I mean, to the T. So on a bullish retracement, you're going to take your Fibonacci tool and you're going to go from the high to the low. So you click on this little guy right here and then you click here at the top of the wick. You go all the way down to the bottom wick right down there. And that's how you do a bullish retracement where ultimately targeting move up to that 1618 over some time. Now, um, how do bull traps and bear traps? Well, bulls trap bulls, bear, bears trap the bears, right? So a bull trap is when everybody's really getting bullish, right? Everybody, all the retailers are buying right there, or at least somebody did. And then they dump it in their face, right? To the downside. And what happens is if you went long here on a levered position, uh, depending upon how much leverage you use, you might already be liquidated, but um, you're trapped in your position at a loss. Now your, your, your money's at a loss and people are just holding on for dear life, hoping for the best right now, which is fine because... Uh, there's going to be an attempt for a bounce. So how do we confirm this as a bull trap? Um, not confirmed yet, but essentially you go up to the 618 and then you break down below the 382. This, this little line of peace and prosperity right there at 35,933. 35,933. Any kind of a daily closure back down there? Well, I think we're going to revisit that 31, probably a bit lower in fact. And I'm just going to continue to use our fibs to give us this analysis here. Um, let's get rid of some of these other lines. And just notice, actually, maybe I redraw this one right here uh, using those wicks perfectly. Um, let's see. It depends on how you draw it. But uh, we are coming very, very close to tapping this trend line, which I do think we are going to get tapped. 
um, at some point. But first, because everybody's bearish right now at the moment, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to get a full-on retracement up to this area, um, <clears throat> which is going to be right here. So somewhere between 45 and 46,000, um, I do think we can get a bounce up in that region. Uh, let's see what the four hour is doing for our momentum to the upside and we'll cross back down below 4298, 4298. So as long as this consolidation holds, that bounce is gonna be in play. And um, at a minimum, the weak bounce comes up to 44,246. A strong bounce is gonna come into this zone. That's what I suspect uh, may happen. Now, let's talk about what could possibly happen with the altcoins as, what we're hoping for is Bitcoin to just trade sideways at the moment. Um, and I will get bullish back above 46,000 bucks. Even 45 is probably good enough for me. 45, 200, back above that zone, and we revisit the highs, maybe even test that 49. But until there, uh, you know, pressure is going to remain to the downside on the four hour and the hourly. Notice the hourly is going to cross up above 42,789. So that'll be your first warning sign that, yes, indeed, we are going to head up to that box. Um, I'd be looking for an hourly closure again above 40, 42, 789. And notice this trend line on the stochastics here playing out. So the regression, maybe something like that. As long as this trend line holds, well, you can get some pressure to the upside on the hourly time frame. Should we break it down even further and just give a peek down here, uh, at our 15 minute time frame? Looks bearish, pressure to the downside. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, volatility is almost maxed out here. So mean reverted bounce as this curls back down, could get a little bounce and test that 200. Now, what we want to see is a reversal and just reviewing kind of the weekend trap box, which, um, you know, weekend price action has been fairly not not uh, favorable, should I say? So here, so what do the market makers do? They create this false move. The false move week beginning perhaps is already in play. Um, and what am I talking about here? Well, we're looking for a W formation. Let's get the Binance chart up here. Where's my Binance chart? That's not it. Bit get. Uh, why do we use Binance? Well, it's got the uh, highest volume traded on perps on those futures contracts. BTC USDT dot P. Very important to use that dot P. That is the perpetual futures contracts. That's where the volume is. That's where the professionals are. And let's just add that back into our chart and bring her all the way up to the top, tippy top, 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 where the rest of my Bitcoins are. <clears throat> long list, long list, here we go. Okay, got her in there. So looking for a bit of a W formation, do we have anything on the books? No, this does not look like a bottom. Now this does a little bit more. So you wanna see a high volume kind of Candle like this. So what does a W look like? Again, the reversal signal is this. Boom. Here. Higher low. And then you got to take out that middle wick, right? And then you get your first reversal signal. And that would bring us all the way up to 44,000. Um, notice this high volume candle right here. I think that's going to be an area of contention fraught with peril fraught with uh, many many and that would be kind of the back test of this breakdown level right here so do we have the reversal formation in place yet no because we did not close above the middle wick here 
the next area we are looking is we could potentially move this over here, right? And look for a little W right here. So why does this not look like a W to me right there? We don't got a high volume candle right here. This is a, not going to be a bright color. By the way, if you want to get those high volume candles right there, you can go to your indicators tab here and type in PVRSA. If I can get it to come up. Internet, go. Not showing me any love right now. PVRSA. Come on. Well, I'll just show it to you. I don't, I, I don't know why that's working. These are my favorited indicators. Come on. It's not allowing me to search. They must have done something with the website. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, uh, needless to say, the PBRSA not only gives you the high volume candles right there, but it also, huh? Oh, yeah, it's right here. So <clears throat> this one right here, PVRSA underscore VS. If you want to get that indicator, it's right there for the taking on TradingView. We're going to take a look at what altcoins are pumping the most. And uh, apparently Richard Hart is uh, back in the game here because his Pulse X. I'm just going to slide this over here. Oops. The hexagons are out. The hexagons up 15%. Then you got Pulse and PHEX. Don't ask me what they do. And then Pulse X up 42%. So I think these are the Pulse coins. These bright green. Sui taking a big run today as well. So on the daily, we're getting a lot of red. On the hourly, okay, getting some bounces up here. T is doing okay. Mina. Um, and then the 15-minute performance. So a little bit of a bounce here as I'm starting the stream. And uh, back on to Bitcoin, right? So where are those possible downside targets going to be? And after the bounce, so if we do see a clean rejection, another lower high on the daily. Well, we're still making, yeah, if we get our first lower high, then you'd be looking for that lower low and something like this to happen. Something like this, right? So we bounce up to the 618. If we get rejected there and close back below that 382, that fib right there at 43,690, that'll be your sign that the bulls, the bulls got trapped, something like this, boom. If we get something like that, another lower high, I am going to look for a move all the way down, all the way down to about 32,000. So what is important? And shout out to Banter Bubbles, uh, Crypto Banter guys. You should check them out. Uh, one of my favorite guys here, Kyle Dupes, uh, this guy right here. Certainly one of the best out there that I've seen, um, and I do enjoy his show, so make sure you guys check him out. Um, and bringing it up here, uh, the altcoin, is it the altcoin season that we've all been waiting for, alt season? Temporarily, well, here's where I would agree with um, his analysis and, and mine, is that uh, Bitcoin does trade, can do a couple things right now. One, one uh, is this. We sit in a range here between boom and boom, or even as high as here, right? If Bitcoin does range, altcoins are going to pump. And when I'm talking about range, Bitcoin does something like this sideways, right? Good for Bitcoin. <clears throat> the other thing that can happen is that uh, we stair step it down. So something like this. We go sideways, down, sideways, down, sideways, down. If you get the stair step down, slow and steady down, altcoins will pump. <clears throat> now, if Bitcoin nukes, that's the third option. 
I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. The whole market's gonna get nuked. Do I think that's gonna happen? No. Do I think uh, sideways, stair step down? I think sideways and then stair step down is probably most likely after a short term bounce. You gotta get, they gotta suck those retail bullers in there one more time and then, you know, grab all the liquidity they can. Uh, maybe we should check out High Block Capital. By the way, link in the description below if uh, you guys wanna check out High Block Capital. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes not, but um, it's worth taking a look here to see where the major liquidations are coming in here at, uh, so people are net short right now. You can see uh, there is 245 shorts to 14 longs. And there's gonna be some liquidities right here um, at 43.6. I think that main level is going to be uh, about 44,000. So if we can get back above there, good chance we're going to run up to that 618. Uh, let's check out Ethereum really quick while we're here. And then we'll take a look at that heat map to see if there's anything below us that could potentially say. So are they going to come for this area at 22,450? I looks like that is the case for Mr. Ethereum. There's literally a huge zone here with nothing below it. They might throw it up here one more time, reject, and then come down to about 2450. Still bullish on, on Ethereum right now, not only because the alt season index, but uh, it's important to take a look at the Bitcoin dominance and then ETH Bitcoin. So where is my Bitcoin dominance chart? Well, let's look at ETH Bitcoin first, because it's right here. So uh, we are officially, are we officially in an uptrend? No, but we got the first higher high. We need a higher low. So we expect a short-term rejection here off that trend line. Perfect, perfect test. And then the higher low and that that's probably going to be your signal right here, higher low, something like that. Or where where could it potentially come down to? Well, as long as we're above this level now, the 382, right, which would be uh, where your bear traps come in. As long as we are above that level, you're going to have higher lows, higher highs on the ETH Bitcoin chart. What else uh, did I see this weekend that was um, something to take note of? And this is Ethereum on the monthly. Let's get rid of this here and draw this as a giant flying pennant. Flying pennant, whatever you want to call it. We got the three touches, so three touches makes a trend, right? And something like this. Where is it most likely to break out? Well, pretty much right now, right now. And you'll see the stochastics are going to cross up above not point five eight one, not point not five eight one seven. And we're currently above there now with the bullish engulfing candle. So I am banking on next month, this guy probably gets some continuations as long as we close anywhere here or higher. 
uh, for ETH Bitcoin. That is, again, Ethereum priced in Bitcoin. Okay. Next thing we want to check on is that Bitcoin dominance chart. And I'm going to check out ETH dominance. Bitcoin oh, BTC.D is the symbol. BTC.D. And then let's go ETH.D. Let's check those out really quick. Let's check those out. So did we make it up to our level? Not yet. Not yet. So to be fair, that's looking bearish on the monthly. Bearish engulfing on the weekly. Pressure on to the downside for Bitcoin dominance. Looking for it to come down to about 49% at a minimum. So Bitcoin dominance going down. So best case scenario, Bitcoin trade sideways right now. Um... Worst case scenario, nuke down to 30,000. And then you'll notice ETH dominance. What is it doing? Well, put in a higher low here. So now we're just looking for that higher high trend reversal on the ETH dominance. And we should get a bit of an ETH party to the upside. Really quick, that Vino trade is... Uh, Looking a little bit weak still, looking a little bit weak, but uh, still holding, still holding. We had this one in here off the green 55, something like this, posted in our Discord. Make sure you guys check out the Discord. Stop loss right below that wick and target and move all the way to the top of the range. You could even target all the way to, I'd say the middle wick right there. So that's a spot trade. Anybody out there, smash the like button if you are spot trader. Um, enjoying some of those spot trades are, you know, we're doing great. We are doing great. Uh, next up. So I think that we've covered everything there. Let's look at ETH on the spot price here and our daily, uh, to, oh yeah. Last thing to, to kind of, uh, notice here, two day bearish engulfing got continuation on. So the two day time frame, a more powerful time frame than the daily, obviously. Um, could potentially be putting in <coughs> a lower low. Yeah, any kind of a two-day closure back below 41,000. I'm going to goose the odds in the favor of the bears. Oops, let's move that line back up. Uh, there's still hope. There's still hope for peace and prosperity, guys. Um, Short-term correction is completely fine. As long as, um, really, as long as we don't take out the uh, the 382, which is coming in here at, or the 618, on a bearish retracement. So the opposite for a bear retracement, you go from the low to the high on your FIB tool. <clears throat> okay, music off. Music is off now. All right. Um so, yeah, pretty much holding 33,000 is going to be important, I would say. 33,000. Oh, that's not the actual low. My bad. Here we go. So, yeah, that pivot goes all the way down to 28.5. 28.5. For Bitcoin and the two-day time frame, volatility is increasing. Momentum's to the downside. Typically, you can get a 30% move off a two-day volatility play. So where does 30% take us from the cross down? Let's see. Let's see where 30% would take us. What do you know? Ooh, 30%. That's down all the way down to 27,000. So when I say two-day volatility play, what I'm talking about is this. So you've got the stochastic, which by the way, did cross down all the way back here, to be fair. But the volatility play looks like this. You get uh, volatility below, below 10%, alongside a cross to the downside. And where does this play come into? to effect here right at 25 percent 
as volatility increases above 25%, um, that is when you'll begin to look for that 30% move. So let's talk, let's mark this off here and see, oh, what do you know? It's right at the tippy tippy top, uh, right there at the uh, top of the market and 30% down from there. That's where we should mark it off more consistently. Yeah, so 30% takes you down to that purple 200, which is coming in at 31.5. So just something to be aware of uh, to keep our eyes upon if, uh, if Bitcoin wants to bleed it out. Again, a slow sideways step to the downside, stair stepping it down, you know, that would be what we want to see for the alt season to continue. Again, why do we think alt season? Well, we're above 75. So that means I think um, over the last 90 days, these altcoins, all these altcoins have outperformed Bitcoin, starting with BNB. To name some of our favorites here, we're going to start with, um, well, let's start with the best. Ordi, Ordi over the last 90 days, not our favorite. Six, say, Injective, ICP. So I like those three. Um, OP, ARB. And um, yeah, so that's typically when your alt season party starts. And it can last anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of months. And yeah. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I think that's enough for our Bitcoin Ethereum analysis for today. Uh, when do we start to get bearish on Ethereum? Well, let's see what's happening with volatility is maxed out. So as soon as volatility begins to decline on the daily, and we are at the top side of the HPD. Yeah, this is, you know, a move down to 2300 is totally in the cards. And as long as we don't lose this level right here, 2200 on the daily for Ethereum, then I'd say, you know, stay bullish on your ETH positions. Uh, short term correction is completely fine. Again, after a momentous rally off the lows, let's see how high did Ethereum rally off the lows? I'm still, I'm still looking for ETH to uh, pop it up to at least 3,500. Um, probably going to get some sell pressure off of this guy right here, off of this trend line on the first pass. But you can see momentum is going to cross down today, or already crossed down. We'll need to get it back above 2,600 to flip that momentum back to the upside on the daily. The four hour is currently up bouncing off the green 55. So definitely potential for a bounce on ETH. And um, I think Solana as well. Where is Solana going to go to? I think this is probably the next zone down. And this I would consider a major buying opportunity for Mr. Solana. Somewhere here. So anywhere in this zone likes to fill in the middle, the 50% of these uh, candles right here. And that would be right off of this support level. So um, Solana, Solana down at 78 bucks would be nice for all of us, right? Um, all right, I think I'm going to wrap it up with the analysis today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. I will be back tomorrow. Maybe to go over some of the altcoins that uh, are ready to pump. All right. Take care. See you next time.